Hello and welcome to this tutorial on how to perform cables in double knitting. Ever thought that cables are too complicated or too difficult? They're not. Think again. It just takes a little bit of uh, confident slipping around of stitches in order to make it work. You can see from this swatch here that I've got a little diagonal line of cables going off to the right here. That's what I call a C2 R, which means uh, using two pairs of stitches and crossing them over towards the right. Uh, and I'll show you how to do the C2L, crossing to the left, later on. So the first thing to do is work along your row until you get to the two stitches that you are going to be incorporating, sorry, the two pairs of stitches that you're going to be incorporating into your cable cross. That's this pair here, one and two, knit and purl, and this pair here, knit and purl again. The first thing to do is to reorder the stitches into the correct orientation for how you're going to work the cable and to do that the first step is to insert the right needle tip into the third stitch on the left needle. So ignoring the first two stitches completely go into the third stitch and then you're going to slide the left needle out of all three of those stitches. If you pinch here just at the base it'll stop those two stitches of numbers one and two from going anywhere. You'll see they'll pop free at the back. This is right, this is normal, don't panic, you've got uh, live stitches off the needle but it's okay. You're just going to slide the left needle into them again making sure they haven't gone anywhere. And so we've now separated this stitch. Next thing to do is to take the tip of the right needle, swing it round to the back there, that went off camera, let me show you that again. Uh, take the tip of the right needle swing it round to the back and we're going to insert it into what is now again the third stitch on the needle ignoring these two as before these two here I'm going to go into what is now the third stitch on the needle there again we're going to pull the left needle out pinching the base of these stitches to keep them nice and tidy and slide that left needle back into both of those stitches now we're in a position where we can slip those two stitches that we have just uh, changed the order of one at a time back onto the left needle and we're ready to start working them. Now I like to uh, twist my leading pair of stitches in these cables. I think it gives a nice tidy line for, for this sort of work. It's like Bavarian twisted stitches. It's very neat and tidy. So in order to do that I'm going to work this first stitch with the contrasting colour through the back loop. That's what gives it the twist the yarns forward and again I'm going to purl this stitch going in through the back loop. That's to twist the stitch on the other side, working with the correct colour for it. And then of course we're just going to work the second pair of the cable the normal way as you would for any other double knitting. And you'll see there we've added another cable cross to this. And that's all there is to it for the, the right-sided, the right-leaning cable. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to work across to the other side of the knitting because on the second side it slants the other way in order to keep it going the same direction on both sides. Now that sounds a little bit confusing but you'll see what I mean when I get there. Here I am on the other side of the work. I'm one pair of stitches away from where I want to start working my cable cross. This time to the left, so I'm working all the way up to it and I'm ready to begin. Turning to the left, or leaning to the left, is slightly different. There's another stage that you need to go through beforehand and so this is what you need to do. Slide four stitches, so it's all four stitches that make up the two pairs that you're going to be working into the cable. Slide them all across from left needle to right. You can do them individually, I do them all in one go, just like that, to save a bit of time. Now we're going to be working with the left needle tip as opposed to the right needle tip. That's a good way of remembering it. When you're doing a left cross, you use the left needle tip, and a right cross, you use the right needle tip. So this time I'm going to start by going into the back of the third stitch. It's always the third stitch, whichever way you're going. Back of the third stitch, slide the right needle tip out and back into those two stitches that have just popped free. Swing the left needle tip round to the front and again go into the third stitch, the new third stitch, because we've removed one. It was the fourth, it's now the third. Slide the right needle tip out, slide it back into those three stitches there. 
trying to split the yarn and then slip those stitches back from right to left. That's the reordering. Now this time the first pair of stitches that we come to are the behind stitches. They're the ones at the back of the cable. So we just work those normally with a knit and a purl. And it's the second pair of stitches that we come to. These are the ones that are actually part of the cable. So these are the ones that I'm going to twist by working them both through the back loop with the contrasting yarn and purling that one through the back loop as well. Oops, nearly used the wrong yarn there. Purling that through the back loop. And there we are, and you're on your way. And you can see here this gorgeous little diagonal line. I've worked it into some of my designs and people have uh, assumed that I've crocheted it onto the top of the knitting afterwards. It looks completely fabulous. It's very neat and tidy on both sides we get this wonderful contrast cable. And there you have it, C2R and C2L in double knitting.